Right, um, I've just got a follow-up video to the um, previous one I did on the performance of the 2011 MacBook Pros, the new quad cores. While I was looking at the spec, which I'll show you here, okay, one thing I noticed under the serial ATA is that one of the ports supports um, SATA 3, which is the 6 gig um, capability, rather than SATA 2, which is only 3 gig. Um, so what I've done is I, I've obtained a SATA 6 compliant SSD, which is the one of the um, let me have a look one of the crucial 300 units. Um, so I thought we'd just have a quick look at the performance differences that that we tend to see from that. Well, one thing I just want to show you that's interesting. If you notice on the first um, serial OCA device tree, can you see how it's got the link speeds there set at six gig? So it's definitely SATA 3, and I'm running at SATA 3 speeds. What's interesting though is if you look at the other port, the one that's used for the super drive, um, the link speed is only 3 gig. Um, if you put a SATA 3 device in there, i.e. a 6 gig capable device, if you put it in that second bay, um, it only negotiates at SATA 2 speeds, i.e. 3 gigabit, um, which caught me out a little bit with the OptiBay um, setup, but um, never mind. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the performance. Um, simplest way to show you really is just fire up some applications so let's have a look um, let's fire up Excel, Word, uh, maybe Photoshop okay I think you can see it's, it, it is very snappy but obviously that there, there doesn't feel like a massive difference between the um, the SATA 2 and the SATA 3 machines if you look at the specifications actually or the, or the, the XBench stats the one on the right here that one is the XBench stat for um, a SATA 2 based Vertex 2E that was in the same unit and that, that was the kind of performance I was getting that about the 293 mark so let's have a look at what we were getting now on the SATA 6 device okay if you look at the disk, text, disk test figures you're getting quite substantially higher um, you know so, so the the drive is definitely substantially faster than what you'll see on a SATA 2 device. Um, same if you, I mean, if we pop into our bootcamp system here, this is a Windows 7 bootcamp, but I've virtualized it inside um, VMware Fusion. If you have a look at the drive setups, sorry, not the drive setups, the performance index, okay, um, it's still around the same in terms of performance index as I was getting on the SATA 2 and yet the um, the actual throughput of the drive is a lot higher so I'm not quite sure how those stats are, are coming through but even so if you look at those stats bear in mind this is virtualized in Fusion that that performance index there is astonishing and it bears through for the actual performance of the the VMware session as well I mean if I was to fire up Excel and Word and PowerPoint and whatever you can see it's incredibly snappy especially considering that it's running under a virtualized, virtualized machine um, the other thing you notice that the increased throughput in is uh, virtualization snapshots. I've just switched to my parallel solution. Okay, you'll see that I've got boot camp on the bottom right, uh, my parallels on the bottom left. So let, let's fire up or resume my Windows 7 session on parallels. There you go, it's done. The, um, the performance on it is absolutely astonishing. The, the way it scales out, it seems like you get more benefit from scaling, uh, being able to do a lot more things consistently without seeing any uh, slowdowns in performance than you do from actual outright imp performance improvements. Um, you know, the apps are still incredibly snappy. Now, bear in mind at the minute, I've got, you know, not only got parallels running, I've still got my Fusion solution over here as well. There's no degradation in performance. Okay, it's an incredibly capable machine. Um, I'm not sure what the SATA 6 SSD has given me, or other than maybe a little bit more terms in of uh, scaling in terms of performance. I, I, the machine is not slowing down when I've got multiple VMs running, which um, is a good thing. Um, yeah, as to whether it's worth the money for so so much more storage and a, a faster machine, I'm not quite sure, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I think you'll agree that that is a very, very fast and capable unit.